Referring back to our formula, a equals p times 1 plus r over n to the nt. We've seen n, the number of times the interest is compounded in a year, equal to several different values in our different situations. We've had n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 12. And presumably, we could have interest compounded even more frequently than this. As you've experienced, Grant likes to push limits in order to maximize the amount of money he makes. And now he wants to know what would happen if his interest was compounded so frequently that it was actually compounded over and over again all the time. Lucky for him, this sort of interest setup actually already exists. It's called continuously compounded interest. If we want to use our good old formula here and keep increasing and increasing n, then we reach a particular function. Let's see what happens if we substitute in the values p equals 1, r equals 1, and t equals 1, and then increase the value of n. Well, if we just set p equal to 1, r equal to 1, and t equal to 1, here's what we have. a equals 1 plus 1 over n, all to the nth power. Now I'd like us to see what happens if we let n increase. Let's plug in some values to find out. So here's a little table for you to help me fill out. For each value of n here, please plug it into this equation to find the value of a that goes with it. Now you're probably going to get some pretty long decimals, so I'd like you to type in as many numbers as your calculator will give you, maybe around 10 or so. Remember, you can always use that Google calculator online if you need a different device.